Thank you, Lauren. Um, I'm kind of hot. You didn't take me because I do want to drink. Um, you know, but <laughs> you're forgiven. I forgive you. Um, and now we're gonna get healthy body. instead. Yeah, I guess we're gonna get healthy. I mean, no offense, doctor, but I want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Not about deprivation. And now we got the fittest bodies in Hollywood. Belongs to some of the people on, on the alkaline, alkaline lifestyle. We're talking Kelly Ripper. We're talking L. McPherson. We're talking Kate Hudson, guys. Here to tell us more about how it works are Daryl. Dr. Daryl, excuse me. Doctor, you gotta put doctor. the doctor. You work hard for that. Good cover, good cover. You work hard for that. Dr. Daryl Joffrey, founder and CEO of Alchemine. Alchemine? Alchemine. Alchemine. Okay, Alchemine. Yep. And real housewife, Miss Aviva Drescher. Woo. You Woo. guys know her. Who swears Who, she by swears it. swears by it. Oh, yeah. yeah, she, yeah. She, Look she, at her. What are you drinking, uh, speaking of which? I'm drinking this, Daily Greens. Yeah, she, she like perfectly timed her sip. Uh. I said her name, she was like. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, <laughs> commercials, I'm assuming she's going to be in the commercial, nationwide commercial. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> Dr. Aviva, how are you guys doing? We are good. We are awesome. good. Yeah. You guys look good. So yeah, I'm you look Thank you. Lucky. Thank you. We're going to so, tell you all well, about Tell it. us all your secrets. Yeah, what's the so, lifestyle? So how's, yeah, tell us about the alkaline lifestyle. Well, you know, there's you know a million different types of diets out there, and the problem is that they're so contradictory and, and confusing. And I think the worst part about it is most of them focus on deprivation. and. I'm gonna tell you, being a sugar addict for most of my life, deprivation, it doesn't work. It doesn't work with the thousands of clients that I've coached. So what I love about the alkaline lifestyle is that it focuses on balance. And the main thing about it is that when you actually consume a food or you digest a food, that food becomes like an ash. And you can actually measure the pH of that ash. So what you really wanna do is focusing on about 80% or 70% of the foods that have a high alkaline pH of putting those into your body. So things like dark green leafy vegetables like your kale, your spinach, your watercress. Collard you know, greens. Collard greens, exactly. It's From amazing. The south. There you go. It's important. Yeah, you know your low sugar fruits, things like lemons, limes, grapefruits, avocados, tomatoes, coconut. We were talking about coconut. Mm -hmm. All things coconut are incredible for your body. Now lemons are interesting because they seem like they'd be acidic, but they're actually alkaline when they go exactly. you, like digest them. Yeah, so what we want to focus on is not what the food does outside the body, it's what the food does once you consume it. Oh. And the key things is you have to look at the mint. Yeah, she knows her stuff. Just, put, put I, got, the game, well, I got really into alkaline water for a little bit, which yeah. I don't know if you think how you feel about alkaline water. I know love some it. people, you, you love it. Love okay. it. Yep. I, I saw a video about like the pH balance in waters, in bottled waters, like from Dasani to Fiji yeah. to Yeah, to yeah she, the girl was testing and, all of them. Yeah, and Dasani has a high, like the, it's like a high acidic, like way more acidic than you should be drinking. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then water like Fiji and... Voss are way better, right. apparently. Have you, have you remember? Yeah, well, I've actually, I've actually tested all of them. And the thing is that when you look at the pH of the actual bottle uh, when you buy it, you know, that's been sitting on the shelf for six months, a year. So it, oh. it degradates over time. So um, you really want to start to add things to your water, things like lemon slices, things like lime slices, I do because that. they're low in sugar, they're high in minerals, and it's the mineral content that's the most important thing that really alkalizes your body and gives you the energy that you thrive on. I do that as well because somebody, uh, this girl I knew, I used to date, she used to get, um, uh, what's the, the kidney stones. Uh -huh. And then and she told me, like, the doctor told her to put, like, lemon and that breaks yeah. up that, that mm -hmm. those particles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, kidney and that, stones is an acid problem. So. Okay, yeah, and I talked to my oh. uncle, he, he handed me a kidney stone. And he, Ew, he, and he, and he gross. Told, I don't want to know where that one came and, from. And, and, and he told me the story about it. When I heard his story, I was like, lemon is going in my water today yeah. and forever in my life. Like, oh, wow. Like, that is terrible. Yeah. Um, so, Aviva, we want to know how you linked up with Dr. Yes. Daryl. Yes, well, um, Dr. Daryl changed me and my family's life mm -hmm. uh, by using the alkaline diet, by using his products. Um, I, first of all, had a terrible situation with reflux, which acid caused reflux. acid reflux, which caused asthma, which was actually documented on The Real Housewives. Right, everyone, right. everyone caught that. And I was able to cure it with Dr. Daryl um, by going on an alkaline diet as well as taking these products. I you had cured the acid reflux I and asthma? cured my my asthma was caused by the acid reflux okay. and all of it was cured mm -hmm. by doing an alkaline diet. And wow. I've never ever had it again since I eat so well. And I had medical doctors, yeah. you know, medical medical with the all the medicines and everything and I couldn't even fix the pain in the middle of the night with medicine. I would take apple cider vinegar, which mm. which put it out right away. So that was the first thing that happened. The second thing that happened was um, we have four children, my husband and I, and three of us went on an alkaline diet to lose some weight. Uh, one of my children at the time was chubby, and he wanted to lose weight. Aww. And um, I know, I know, and he's today, now he's six feet tall and super skinny, and he yeah. eats whatever he yeah. wants. 
but we all went on in one week we all lost 25 pounds as a, three in of us one week. three of us in one week okay. wow. yeah and and in two and a half months the the chubby one which he's no longer okay now he's like justin bieber gorgeous okay but at the time he's single was, <laughs> you, 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 would, you would be. You would, Says this one. Her boyfriend was on a show two days ago. It would be uh, illegal. Yeah. Wait three I'm years. I'm asking for the ladies out there, our viewers. <laughs> he's 15 and he's absolutely gorgeous and right. kind and he's a gentleman. But anyway, uh, he's right by his mom. Uh, it's, there you go. It takes a village. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Say it again. Not, a, it takes a village. That, I'm not that's an take African all the proverb. <laughs> it takes a village to raise a child. There we yeah. go. Be, but you better teach these people. Out there. <laughs> you better preach. So we all also. He ended up losing 60 pounds mm. in two and a half oh, months. And the most incredible thing with not only you know dr. Daryl's products but his recipes and the food is that you're never you're eating I eat more food with dr. Daryl's food than I do than I did before mm -hmm. you're eating so much food and you're just eating so much healthy food mm -hmm. nut butters quinoa vegetables salad you know you're just not eating you know, Chuck. cheese, right. white flour, See, don't, don't, don't sugar. Bad about my cheese. Don't say nothing but bad about my cheese. cheddar here, so. But yes. here's, here's the thing. If you go on Dr. Daryl's program for seven days, you will feel different. You feel all of a sudden you're jumping out of bed five, six in the morning with energy. You mm. feel different. Your skin starts to glow. Is this like a vegetarian or? Yeah, I mean, when you do the seven-day cleanse, it's plant-based. You know, once the cleanse is over, you can start to slowly add the different foods back into your life. Because, mm -hmm. again, it's, it's not about deprivation. That's the most sure. important thing. Um, you know, in my experience is that when whatever challenges you're at, because we're all different. We're at different places in our lives with our health. If you start to add the foods one by one back into your lifestyle, before you know it, the good will start to outweigh the bad. So the seven-day cleanse itself is plant-based. But once you're done, you've you got to fit into your lifestyle, not let this fit in. And you know, Go ahead. You know, there's one important fact that I, 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 I just would love for you to back me on yeah. is that, um, you know, it has been written and proven that like cancer cells mm -hmm. and disease cells thrive in an acidic environment. Mm -hmm. They die in an alkaline environment. And if you take that as your core principle, you feel great having an alkaline diet and mm -hmm. you feel pretty uh, negative. <laughs> I don't know what I can say anymore on TV. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so um, glad you said a week. Like you lost the twenty, your family lost the pounds, twenty five pounds in a week. Yeah. Because I read they didn't put the week on it, so I'm thinking like overall your family lost twenty five pounds collectively, and I was like, in like a, a, a long <laughs> yeah. span of time. Yeah, I'm thinking like a year, and I was like, what? Well, they took the clothes off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm glad, I'm glad you put the week on there, so you put it in perspective. Yeah. That's that's pretty impressive. And know that my son lost sixty pounds. Right. Yeah, that's lost, crazy. Yes. In, in two and a half between like April, May, two and a half months. Yeah, that's that's a lot. 60 pounds. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Can we also nice. talk really quickly about good fats versus sugars? Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. Of, did you, this article came out, it's, go, it's circulating about how like the sugar industry paid all these scientists back yes. in the day to say fats are bad, and then it launched the whole low yeah. fat, I heard, I heard no about fat. the milk industry too. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's crazy. And this actually just came out in the, uh, the Times the other day. It was mm -hmm. a, a really phenomenal story. And what they showed is that over the last 40 to 50 years, um, the sugar industry actually dictated where this research went. And they actually blamed saturated fat as the culprit. And you know the studies actually were influenced and they showed that sugar didn't have the links to heart disease and cardiovascular disease and things like cancer. But what we're really learning now is that sugar is the enemy, as they call it, the white devil. And you're looking at things like healthy fats. Those are the things that you need to put more into your body. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, there are fats that heal and there are fats that kill. So when I talk about healthy fats, you're talking about healthy wow. fats from coconut oil and things like chia seeds and hemp seeds and flax seeds. Right. You know, those are the fats that your body really needs. And you know, if people are out there looking to lose weight, don't get worried about the fat. That's the one thing I always say, don't fear the fat because if you wanna drop the pounds, you have to put good healthy fat into your body mm -hmm. to lose the bad fat. And that's a real important point. Because your brain is like mostly fat. Well, there's a good, yeah, there's a significant yeah. amount of, of fat exactly. in, your, in your brain. And again, it's like your cells are made of fat. Mm -hmm. So the worst thing we can do, the, fix, the, the quickest way to kill ourselves is to go on a no-fat diet and a no-salt diet. Right. Your body lives on fat, it lives on salt, yeah. and if you put more of that into your body, the better it's going to be, the more energy it's going to have. But again, same thing, healthy salts. There's mm -hmm. bad salts and there's good salts. Yeah, right. amen. Okay, so all these products are available on your website. Yes. I'm going to do the pH I'm going to do the pH test. Oh, yeah. So oh. I take um, the Daily Greens every morning. I have it with grapefruit juice or I throw it into a smoothie mm -hmm. and that's the first thing I have in the morning and at night I have this which totally naturally helps you chill out for bedtime okay. and these things keep you so healthy 
And I mean, they're amazing. They're just, they're just amazing. I mean, you feel like a different person. So what's this, we're gonna test our alkalinity really quickly, guys. Okay, that um, work. So this is a pH test strip. You can see, get off your acid on the strips, because that's what this is all about. Get off your acid. So there's two ways you can do this. You can do a saliva test, or you can do a urine test. Now. We're gonna do saliva today. We're gonna do saliva today, just for, saliva. for everybody out there, you know. I don't wanna bring the boy out, no one do that. <laughs> oh, God. So what you're gonna do is get a little saliva on your tongue, all right, just mm -hmm. takes a few seconds. You put the colors on the saliva, make sure you fully get it in. We're gonna take it out, we're gonna wait just a few seconds, and then we'll actually measure. All right, don't get it on your lipstick. Okay. Okay. How long we do it? Okay, we're good. Oh, all right. mine's gonna be so bad. So I want so much color. coffee today. So the okay. number that we're looking for, the pH scale goes from zero to 14. Zero is like pure acid, very bad. All right, all right. so we're looking to get it at least above 7.0, ideally 7.2 7 .2 to 7.4. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna look at mine first. Aviva, how am I doing over here? You're doing, you're great. I'm pretty good. Oh, hold, hold it, hold it up to the Freddy's are the same, that's all I know. All right, so I'm, I'm right around that 7.2, 7.4, really so. Good. I've been doing pretty well here. I'm keeping mine private. All right, we'll, we'll pass the beaver. Well, over here. I have a feeling me and me and Freddy's are pretty. <laughs> okay, so Ooh, mine's looking that like doesn't look too bad. Really, this looks like seven. That's I'm, okay. I'm looking like seven's I, okay. I, I think yeah, she's a she's a seven. I'm like a six point seven five. All right, so you see. so you're a little bit more acidic. So what, what, do you, what are the things you t normally eat that you think? Uh... I normally eat cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. It's addictive. You saw that on the show yesterday. So mm -hmm. cheese. Um, what else do I eat? I eat chicken, fried chicken. I'm from the South. Um, I eat, what, what I have some macaroni and cheese with some gravy, I'm, some, I'm some rib gravy. I'm cheese, a cheese trend really here. <laughs> acid and more acid. Uh, <laughs> basically, he's very acidic. Yeah. You guys are alkaline. We want to be more like you. Thank you so much for being here. All the oh, products are on the so website. Nice Let us know the website link. Good to see you.